Hey, what's up guys? Your average war gamer is back with another video of World of Warships. And today I'm going to be featuring tier 8 premium aircraft carrier that is Enterprise. Now is it really worth it for your purchase because finally Wargaming has decided to add this rare ship in the armory for two ways to access this okay i will explain first of all if you want to buy this uh, carrier how will you be able to obtain this i will explain that pretty much in the upcoming minutes so you keep watching the video and i will also going to explain a lot of other stuff like the armaments itself why enterprise is so powerful that it got to be a rare ship and then i will also going to be showcasing you some gameplay so you will be able to figure it out whether it is really worth it for your purchase or not so let's just get into the armory and see how you can actually get the enterprise for yourself all right so in order to get the enterprise you have two options one option is going to be a bit expensive but you can be lucky as well but i would not highly recommend you that i would be really much recommending you the other way but let me explain the first route and that is going to be these containers these battle of later gulf containers these premium containers have a chance of getting an enterprise uh, along with Tennessee, which is also a new re newly released battleship as well, American battleship. So you have a chance of only 2%, unfortunately, to get the Enterprise, which is definitely very, very low. Like, you know, out of 100 containers, it's like two containers that might have a chance of getting Enterprise. That's how it is really bad. Now, you might be looking at this, um, you know, area where it says 8%, but 8% is divided into like 2% uh, and 6%, and in which this six percent also comes in with some premium ships so that's where a lot of that percentage is going so definitely this two percent only of getting enterprise is definitely going to be a lot much more difficult but otherwise if you have you know trying uh, this uh, way uh, i would say try not to do that like for like couple of uh, containers and that's more than enough because that would be sort of a chance that you might have an enterprise if you just keep opening them it will be costing you a lot but the other way is going to be the battle of later gulf adventure now if you go and click on it it will give you some access to missions so as you can see this is a battle of lighter gulf you have six missions that you have to complete and then afterwards after completing these six missions which is one two three four five six you will be able to get them like once you complete these missions over time probably it will be time gated but once you will complete all of these missions then there is going to be a bundle that will be revealed probably in this section of Bat uh, battle of lighter gulf just like Tennessee, as you can see here, there's going to be another bundle, which is going to be Enterprise. And it will be available for direct purchase instead of buying these premium containers, which I have explained for the first route. The second route is definitely going to be highly recommended because it will only going to cost around about 14,300 doubloons. That's right. Only costing you the Enterprise that is 14,300 doubloons. So that is a lot better in my opinion. On the other hand, if you're really looking to get this beautiful camo of the Enterprise, if you get the Enterprise, well, it is definitely a nice thing. Now, it, it requires you to get later tokens and you can get, the, uh, get these tokens by completing these missions as well as getting these premium containers. That is totally up to you. If you are really looking to get the Enterprise, complete these missions first. I will show you quickly the combat mission so you will be figuring it out yourself. So this is Bat Battle of Lighter Gulf. And you can clearly see this is the missions that you have to complete. There, the, there are so many missions. Uh, this is like one of the mission. And then there will be more missions that you have to complete. And afterwards, you will be having access of the bundle of Enterprise itself. So that's how you can able to get the Enterprise. But let's talk about Enterprise itself. Because Enterprise is one of the rare carriers that they have you know added in world of warships and by the way guys if i give you some historical perspective not historical perspective of world war itself i'm talking about the history of the enterprise in this game and the moment it got released it you it was not like it was really good but then they have buffed some of the numbers after the carrier rework causing it to be one of the most broken carriers in world of warships it, it is not used to be yeah, sorry it is now not really what it used to be at least but still 
after the rocket nerfs, after the bombs nerf, it is still really powerful. Let me explain what Enterprise is really about. Now, first of all, if you have already played Tier 8 Tech 3 Carrier Shokaku, which is a Japanese, Japanese carrier, well, its armament is going to be pretty much exactly the same. Uh, except for some of the numbers that it has a lot different compared to Shokaku. Uh, I would definitely going to say that Enterprise feels a lot better compared to Shokaku. And, well, let me explain it real quick. So what Enterprise is about? You have four attack flights, which is very unique in this game. Like, you have four attack flights and you have a lot of rockets to throw on destroyers. And this is one of the things that, will, that used to make Enterprise the bane of destroyers. Why? Well, if you have these four attack flights that has sort of, uh, you know, not the best of the alpha damage, they have nerfed the alpha damage compared to the Lexington's rockets, but still, even though it has, you know, 1900 alpha damage and still having decent 27mm armor penetration, which can penetrate most cruisers at tier 8 and tier 9, you will be able to do some decent damage to cruisers, light cruisers and destroyers, and it has a, uh, what do you call it, the pre-nerf, no, not the pre-nerf, uh, it's like pre-firing delay, that the machine firing that uh, they have added in this game uh, for rockets, well, it has only 3.4 seconds. Shokaku has like around 3.4 seconds, Enterprise has a lot better. And obviously, these four attack flight means that e even though it, it, it got nerfed, it is still really useful against destroyers if you're able to lead properly like for like 3.4 seconds and then you just shoot those uh, rockets which i will also show you in the gameplay you can just deal pretty decent damage the hp pool is pretty respectable and well you hope for attack flight means that you can actually able to deliver at least even two strikes to like hard you know a cruisers like decent a cruisers as well which is really nice uh, uh, again the thing about the enterprise is going to be that it's torpedo bombers Compared to Lexington is also really good. Now, the torpedo bombers damage is pretty similar if you just compare it to Lexington's. Let me explain it quickly. So, army distance of uh, Enterprise is a bit better compared to the Lexington. So that's the thing that they have given. But uh, the thing is about the torpedo bombers is and the rocket planes, which I will explain, that they have insane aircraft preparation time. 46 seconds, you will <laughs> regen one plane, which is pretty insane for this carrier and that's the thing about the enterprise you have a lot of planes on deck which is 20 for rockets 16 for bomb torpedo bombs and even the ap bombers also have a lot of planes on deck and then on top of that 72.2 seconds preparation time for bombs torpedo bombers like less than a minute and rockets are even like three three fourths of the time of a minute needed to get the plane of region which is really really one of the strengths of the enterprise always and one of the strength is going to be also the bombers torpedo bombers really good damage 6400 damage you have three attack flights you can't go wrong with that but the bombers are also very unique uh, maximum theoretical alpha damage of these bombers is bonkers like it is even more than some of the tier 10 aircraft carriers and you can get it on tier 8 three attack flights 4900 uh, maximum bomb damage but still uh, if you're able to land because you can actually drop six bombs in payload in just a single attack flight well there's a good chance of landing two three or four citadels uh, consistently i would say uh, sometimes it's rng more because the reticle is probably the biggest out of all other ap bombers out there but that's why they have done this because of the balancing reasons i can i, I can kind of understand that but still the bombs are pretty good they hit hard the bombs does pretty decent damage. The penetration is really good for cruisers. A lot of German, uh, Russian battleships. You can easily land some good bombs and de do, do sorry, decent damage. And definitely that's why Enterprise is really good. Now, torpedo bombers have heal. Rockets are pretty much the usual. Uh, but one more thing about the Enterprise is going to be the unique patrol fighters. Now, these patrol fighters are some of the... Not, not some of the most, but actually the most powerful... Patrol fighters at tier 8. Uh, it has 10 number of fighters, okay? Uh, for example, the Yorktown, which is a newly released, uh, you know, American Tech 3 aircraft carrier, has 7 number of fighters. And that used to be a superior um, in terms of having this uh, patrol farmer, uh, fighters armament. And Enterprise even have more than Yorktown itself. Even more than tier 10 carriers itself. Uh, like in the case of tier 10s you have seven patrol fighters and in the case of enterprise 
it is 10. The action radius is also big. And if you just build the enterprise for like uh, increasing the patrol radius, if you build it for interceptors, which is also a really nice thing, in increasing patrol radius further, and even use enhanced reaction, which I would highly recommend. The planes are really, really good against protecting any ship in the game. Like you can just shred down all the planes at this tier of enemy uh, carrier, which is really powerful. So it is very good in deterrent, uh, very good and deterrent against enemy CV strikes. And that's one of the things that I really like about the Enterprise, okay? Anti-defense is decent, so, I mean, combined with the fact that if you have these patrol fighters, you can defend yourself pretty easily. And then, obviously, you have not the best of the concealment. For example, Shokaku has 12.1-ish. Uh, there's Colossus, uh, under the premium carrier that has 11.4 kilometers, so Enterprise is definitely on the higher side. But again... Enterprise is really good because of these region uh, time of the of these armament uh, armaments you have a lot of planes on deck and you have really good payload damage that you can deliver on every ship in the game you can you can actually counter every single class by having these armaments and that's the thing about the enterprise it is very very self reliant in doing what it does against all ship classes and that's why i would definitely like enterprise even in 2024 even the bombs got nerfed even the rockets got nerfed so these are the details that i want to explain um, i'm sure there might be a couple of more details but most of the details i have just covered but let me go into the battle and see what really enterprise can do all right good luck everyone General Quarters. all right so i'm gonna be show showcasing you the gameplay itself and well enterprise is actually really powerful from like tier 6 uh, sorry again it's tier 6 tier 7 tier 8 and tier 9s most of them are not going to be you know uh, causing you issues in terms of their anti-defense i mean enterprise have so many planes on deck and you have so good armaments like ap bombers torpedo bombers and he rockets i will try to showcase you he rockets if i possibly can on destroyers because uh, they are really good uh, if you're just able to master and just uh, give the lead properly you can actually deliver pretty devastating drops on a destroyers even today so uh well you got the alande here so i'm not gonna touch that for now but i want to showcase you where the destroyers might be and how i can deal with them most likely they're going to be on the corners of the maybe the g there's going to be Palmer and synop but let's see if there's going to be destroyer if i don't find the destroyer well, you can try to use these rockets on light cruisers like Elendi. Oh, there is the ZF-6, which will have a defensive air fire, and that's something that I have to be very careful. So he's gonna have some good air there. But still, if I just manage this properly, yeah, he's trying to slow down. Yeah, he, he did try to slow down up and try to protect himself, which I would highly uh, recommend in a destroyers, to be honest. So he does a good job, but still, I have a lot of planes still really and i think he's gonna be turning in like this no he's trying to speed juke okay he's doing really good job I'm, I'm not gonna lie he tried to speed juke that he tried to do all the right things to be honest <laughs> but honestly honestly most of the time you will be having good time against uh, dds uh, but uh, again if you are not leading properly maybe like i did in this uh, scenario well you will be kind of going to get punished now zf6 does have some decent air with defensive air fire and that's why I didn't able to do much. And there are a lot of ships out there. So let me go and try to drop on Sinop. Maybe I will try to even drop on ZF-6. Because the torpedo arming distance is also very impressive to be honest. So you shouldn't be having that much time. Uh, sorry, that much problem in dropping on destroyers. Now there is ZF-6. And I think he's, he probably now caught uh, in a duel uh, with uh, Ostrogotland. So he's going to be turning out maybe. Or or what let's see what he does but yeah that's the thing about the yeah he's gonna be turning out which means that if he does not really realizing the situation well he's trying to speed himself a lot but i got one torpedo which is nice i got a flood he has to smoke up if he doesn't smoke up he's so he's super screwed man so he's gonna be turning in oh the torpedo is having a where to drop man uh, i was expecting the torpedoes not to do that but uh, yeah i'll still try to drop a single drop on this guy now i'm not sure the torpedo is gonna land or not yeah he's trying to he's trying to dodge that 
that's understandable. Okay, go I got spotted. So I think the destroyer have spotted me, or maybe the something else. I don't. I need to check. Yeah, there is something that is spotting me, so I'm sure the destroyer might be here. Most likely, you need to spot. So yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking. Uh, these are some of the things that uh, <laughs> you will able to master it over time. You will be understanding where the destroyers might spot you, and that's what exactly happened. Now, Jaeger has zero entire defense, so I'm quite sure that I can actually get all four strikes on this guy. And this makes Enterprise really powerful. Like this, look at that. Perfect drop, seven rockets, did 4,200. And this is something that I wa was talking about. Rockets are really, really powerful. It's just a matter of time, the way you do it. And he's gonna be like turning in. He's trying to dodge, oh, send the torpedoes. Yeah, seven rockets again. Again. Jaeger is in big trouble. Uh, he killed the Venom. Unfortunately, our Venom is not really doing the right thing. Is he gonna... Yeah, he's turning in. Which will... Yeah, three rockets. But still, zero entire defense. I can hopefully able to kill him with this rank. I don't know. Let's see. If he broadsides, that would be better. Yep, he's dead. So that's that's what Enterprise can be. Like, look at that. I killed the Jaeger myself, even though he just... Uh, completely obliterated our Venom, which is absolutely sucks. Like, why Venom able to just completely... Uh, throw his ship away against Jaeger torpedoes is kind of baffling, but anyways, I will try to go towards the ZF-6 and so showcase you. Maybe I m might be able to land a couple of torpedoes, but yeah, the armaments are really good. I can go for the Hipper, Hipper as well. Hipper has not really good AA. Uh, ZF-6 is very actually very close, I think. He smoked up. I'm quite sure that if I can spot uh, for the Algerie, that would be pretty nice. Maybe. Because that's the thing about the Enterprise. Ah, yep, there it is. There it is, ZF-6 with defensive air fire. So I will maybe try to help him. But yeah, someone just killed the Algerie. So that's not good. What I will do, I will try to cross drop him. Let's see if I can do that. I'll try to cross drop him and see if I can just manage to get a torpedo hit on him or not. So can I get a torpedo hit? Oh yeah. Oh, he's turning in. Yeah, he's hitting a torpedo. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's what Enterprise really is. Really counter destroyers. And yeah, at least we kill two DDs by ourselves. And that is the thing that I really like about Enterprise. It is so good in, in what it does against okay, destroyers. Now there is a hipper that, do and by the way, I have I have full planes uh, because of the insane region time. Like, they, even though the ZF-6 does shred down some planes, but I really don't care. Like, this A is not, like, crazy to just do what I was thinking or any team might be thinking. Look at that. 10 rockets, 4,000 damage, which is nice. Even though the Hipper might shoot down some planes, I still have a chance of getting a, another strike. And I got a fire as well. So, let's see. Uh, can I get a good strike? Boom, one, okay, it's a permanent fire. Nice. That's pretty nice. So I can just have one one drop as well again with one plane, which would do some damage, which is nice. All right, yeah, that is, that's a dead hipper with the fire. Yeah, so three kills, great results, I would say. I mean, it's, it's really powerful. I, I mean, you can clearly see that this is a really good example that I'm just giving you guys that uh, you do have a, really good chance in just dealing damage to all ship targets i'm quite sure the Ipiranga is a problem but i hope the lehari doesn't get into the cap i will be able to spot him hopefully the yorktown is smoking him up so it's a problem what i can do actually is to just help the z31 now i will try to showcase you the planes uh are he shooting the guns hey, he's gonna die z31 is going to die if he does not shoot your his uh, guns and does not do what he does well Unfortunately, he will definitely going to die. No matter what, the Yorktown bombs are going to be pretty good for that. Yep, you can see here what happened. So, it's a pretty unfortunate case. But this is what it is, I would say. And we're losing a lot of ships. Yorktown can actually put the plane on Yumihari, which is a problem. So, what I can do here, I can just try to drop a sh on Sinop. Now, one more thing about the Enterprise is... I will drop the Pommern, in fact. Because Sinop is definitely trying to turn in. 
Uh, am I eating a lot of flax? Yeah, I did eat the flax a lot. But I still have a chance to strike, I would say. Now, there's a lion as well, so a lot of A, so I'm just gonna press the F. Uh, okay. The Octone is uh, trying to put the plane here, I see. I have to go around this area because this is gonna be a problem otherwise. Yeah, the plane got tagged. I have the enhanced reaction skill, so this can be pretty, this can come in pretty handy. Yeah, someone is shooting me. I think it's the Palmer. Yeah, Palmer with HE or what? That, that sucks, man. But whatever, what can I say? Oh, my internet is messing up. Oh, my internet is messing up big time. Unfortunate. I, have, I can just drop the rockets on power. Oh, my internet is messing up, unfortunately, guys. Oh, that sucks. Yep. That's a lot of ships out there. And uh, Yorktown is putting planes a lot. But I can just try to pre-drop for now and do something about the the Sina first. Yep, this is gonna be a loss. We have just not a good team in our side. Yep. A lot of ships are pushing. So we can't do much. Also my internet is sort of messing up. Because I dropped it, which is pretty nice. Let me try to showcase you the AP bombers. Yeah, so Yorktown might be dropping me. Oh, I got, uh, okay. I got the three torpedo hits, which is nice. Let me see if I can just maybe able to settle this Imehari by there. The plane actually tagged, which is nice. I'll try to drop the Yumeha sorry, Yumehari here, yeah. Let's see if I can just get some damage on this guy. Okay, three. I think I might not be able to citadel him, to be honest. Seems to be like that. Yeah, I'm spotted. So that's not good. You may hardly can able to get the drop, drop on me. Yeah, he's just able to just do the damage, which is a problem. Hey, I got a citadel. Okay, I got a citadel. But, oh, and I got, okay. That's nice that uh, Nagara got the Yumihari, but there is going to be a Sinam, which is obviously going to kill me. There's no way. They're just pushing me so hard, so nothing I can do. Even though I will try to just do some damage to the Sinam. Still, my internet is just messing up. Can I get some drops? I got three drop hits, which is nice. Yeah, it will definitely going to kill me. The ship is on fire. There's no way. But still, let me go and drop the sin up real quick. And a is oh, someone just do some damage. The bombs of dispersion. Oh, I got him, got him. And the Lehardi will definitely going to kill me with torps. So I'm just gonna go and rocket him. Can I get some rockets? Three rockets, that's good. Internet is not doing the best guys, I'm sorry. But sometimes it happens, there's nothing you can do about it. The Hardy definitely can die. Uh, this is probably not the best rocket hit. Yeah, that's not a best of the aim. Because I want to kill this uh, Lehardi, but it seems to be not possible right now. Now, oh, that's a good drop, but uh, hopefully you won't... Yeah, I messed up again, unfortunately. Oh, it's it's a desync. Yeah, there's a lot of internet issues, I would say. Yeah, that's the thorough, that's the problem. My internet is really messing up. Unfortunate. But yeah, that's what Enterprise is really about. I mean, if not for the internet, I might, might would have got the Kraken on the Lehardi. 
which is unfortunate our team was pretty terrible i was able to get behind the island and try to just uh, do some damage to these ships but that is it so i will try to showcase you one more game after that if the internet gets right and then we'll come up to the conclusion whether you should uh, buy it or not okay so it was pretty obvious that it is going to be a defeat well um, pretty decent earning uh, of credits because it's a tier 8 premium aircraft carrier so you can expect some decent earning in credits uh, decent damage uh, decent kills did some citadels on Sinop and also in I think the Yumihari but a lot of torpedo hits and I deal pretty good damage to destroyers which is really one of the things that Enterprise is still pretty good at and well which clearly can be shown in this uh, base XP number. Now our team was pretty terrible, like not even 900 base XP and I was like around 1300 base XP on a loss. Pretty unfortunate in that regard, but still uh, you can clearly see that it is still really strong against uh, destroyers and uh, it is definitely for a reason that it is overpowered. Now you can see here, ZF6 and Jaeger has taken pretty decent damage from rockets and Lehardi could also die from these rockets if not for my internet and that's the thing about the enterprise it is still really really powerful so i will just showcase you maybe a couple of other things uh, in the conclusion and then i will you know give my thoughts that whether you should buy it or not so if you ask me whether this ship is really worth it in 2024 after so many countless nerfs because remember guys it used to have bombers that does 5,900 alpha damage. They have nerfed the bombers. Uh, basically, it was a generic nerf to all the AP bombers at that time. And also, Enterprise gotten into that nerf. Also, the rockets have gotten a pre-machine firing delay nerf, uh, which kind of really makes Enterprise overpowered against destroyers. Not so overpowered right now. Like, it is not easy to lead these rockets, okay? But I'm telling you guys, once you're able to do this, once you're able to properly understand and lead these rockets well, well, this is still pretty relevant. Destroyer killer, even in 2024. It absolutely chunks destroyer hard. You have seen with those four strikes that I have, I have done pretty much, <laughs> uh, you know, solo uh, kill that Jaeger and also did pretty decent damage with the torpedo bombers because torpedo bombers have really good arming distance 338 meter with this captain skill that i would highly recommend i would say that this skill is uh, pretty good like enhanced reaction torpedo uh, prox uh, proximity fuse which also improves the torpedo damage is pretty nice and obviously if you use this torpedo arming distance reduction uh, this is going to be icing on the cake it's gonna make really hard for cruisers or battleship to dodge these torpedo bombers and obviously in the case of the upgrades i would say it's pretty standard try to maybe build it for torpedo hp although you can also go for the bombers modification one which also you know it's which is kind of recommended by wargaming itself or probably from their developers but i would still say the torpedo bombers is better because you have heal you can actually able to get two strikes two full strikes on even tier 10 battleships if you have heal really which is really nice because they have a lot of HP. Like you can clearly see 2135 HP is pretty respectable. Obviously, you can also either go for aircraft control mod 1 or you can also go for concealment system. Now, you get extra planes on deck and slightly better region time. So that is totally up to you. You can also go for the squadron consumable mod 1 for extra uh, fighter, patrol fighter, heal as well as the engine boost. So these all you know, uh, are pretty viable for Enterprise. Concealment, I would say not to use it because if I use the islands properly, like in the case of mine, uh, the concealment kind of gets irre irrelevant, to be honest. So I would say torpedo bombers for uh, slot four is good. Uh, that's again, another thing that you can do, torpedo bombers mod one. Uh, in aircraft engines mod one does help for the uh, engine boost duration. It increases that. And then obviously uh, this is aircraft mod one, which obviously you know makes the air squadron return speed by plus 20 percent so this is pretty much what enterprise really about obviously you can use these uh, flags if you want to maximize the potential of enterprise itself and i would still say please buy it it is definitely not going to be costing you a lot 14,300 doubloons if you are really really investing into enterprise i would say it is really really good it absolutely smashes cruisers and battleships sometimes torpedo bombers bombers are really really relevant 
even in 2024. It is so powerful still in that regard. So I hope this video will help you a lot. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. And I will try to uh, make more enterprise uh, gameplays. I just maybe featured one in this one. But I can just post uh, some enterprise gameplay at tier 10 level as well. So you will be figuring it out yourself whether it is really good even at higher tiers or not. So thank you guys for watching. And I will catch you guys into the next one. Peace out.